Hi guys, welcome to my new tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show how to set up studio lighting with Cinema 4D and Octane Render. Let's get started. So first step, let's create studio background. Go to objects and select cube. Then click this icon and click this icon. Select this and delete and this delete and this and this. Okay, then select this icon and select this lion, right mouse and bevel. Let's change bevel, okay, and go to here, change subdivisions for smooth background. Okay, then select these points and go to up, select rental selection, select this left points move to left okay and select this points move to right nice click this icon for down this editable and click move to then go to octan and open live viewer window okay let's click this icon for render preview okay and let's move to here nice so in this time let's go to here and press it search 3d model from library sofa okay let's see okay not bad let's click okay wait okay nice so let's click here and select this sofa move to left and down go to scale and scale object okay let's delete these materials again scale okay go to objects and select this cylinder let's move to here and down and change size this cylinder Okay, select this sofa, move to up, okay, okay, not bad. So in this time, let's create new lights, go to materials or objects, okay, lights and Octane area light. Nice. So move to here, this light. And go to light settings. Change power 50. Or 10. 5. Okay. And hold control, move to right for this duplicate lighting. And go to rotation tool. Hold shift, change rotation. Okay. And click this icon for go to octane light settings and change power 3. Again, hold control, move to left for copy and rotate light. Move to left and up. Okay. Nice lighting. then let's create new camera go to objects and octane camera click this icon and let's set up this camera
okay let's go to render settings and change render octane render and width full hd okay So not bad. Let's go to materials and shader, cinema 4D octane and octane material. Then open this octane material and change color. Okay. So let's use, select this octane and use for cube. Okay. Let's change again. Okay, this is not bad. Then hold control and select this octane material. Move to right for duplicate and open this material and change okay let's select this octane and use for this cylinder okay and change like this Okay, and let's use this material for this sofa. Okay. Let's click this icon for exit setup. Okay, let's open here, open this soft folder and open groups and use for this base and this pillow and pillow 2. Okay, nice. So back to Octane camera settings. So in this time, let's open this octane material and change material type to glassy. Okay. Let's click this icon for exit setup camera and zoom object. See this reflection and select this roughness, change float. Let's see here. This is and this is zero reflection okay let's change five or change here okay not bad okay let's close this material editor and select this octane material hold control move to right open again and select this diffuse change color to yellow okay and let's select these objects and right mouse apply okay click this icon for back to camera settings okay let's open yellow color okay go to index change index like this and back to diffuse open color okay not bad select this sofa go to rotation and change 
rotation object okay so not bad okay nice I like it nice material okay let's change this object's color open this sofa and select this octane material used for these seams okay nice so click and back to camera setup okay nice so thank you for watching my tutorial and don't forget to subscribe channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck